whole another time in the liturgy, which means that things come in order. Uh, Lent is gone, Easter is gone, but we keep on going with cooking. And what's better than bread, daily bread? So tonight we are starting to cook some bread. What I have for you is a couple of ingredients according to the recipe that I use, because there are many different recipes for making the bread. So what I have with me is flour, oil, yeast, sugar, salt and some kernels. And that's actually totally enough. inside the bowl, just ordinary bowl, 750 gram. Then we put inside some sugar. Don't put salt yet. Salt will be very, very, very last. You can mix it even with your finger or with anything else. You are uh, now get into a, a container or um, kettle, whatever it is, uh, 500 grams of water, ordinary water from the tap. So we put some water in, not cold, not cold, just room temperature. And as we have our water in the jar, we add some yeast. How much? About 200 grams. Um, that is basically four sachets or four full tablespoons. Put inside. Mix, mix, mix. That's what we are doing. We are mixing our yeast with water. That's the only thing that you have to do right now. Just make sure that it dissolves well. That there is no any lumps in that. So water with your... See? What I'm adding into it is now two spoons of oil. I showed you them before, being prepared. The sugar is already in the flour, it can be also in the liquid, it doesn't really matter. And at this point, I'm putting everything into my bowl. Slowly, 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 mixing, mixing, mixing. I'm not adding salt yet. Salt is an absolutely very last thing. If you will put salt earlier, uh, unfortunately, I use the simple language and I will say you will kill the yeast. So don't kill the yeast and don't put salt too early. Now, start mixing until you feel that uh, all the flour is being absorbed by the liquid, by the mixture. Okay. And you can come closer and see again what the consistency is like. Right, it's almost done. I have to do two more things. I feel that it needs a little bit more water, so I will get a tiny bit more water. And as I'm almost done, I'm adding my salt, mixing it again, just with the spoon. There is no working on the dough of any sort. Just making sure that the flour is being absorbed by the mixture. That's all what it is. Nothing hard to do. From the top to the bottom or from the bottom to the top. <laughs> Everything what is in your bowl needs to dissolve. And because I like kernels, so I'm adding the full, maybe two handful of different kernels. Uh, sunflower seeds and petal um, and uh, pepita inside my bread. So my bread will be with some kernels. You don't have to do it. You can use just ordinary flour. That's perfectly all right. I will tell you what. Our job is done for tonight. We have one more thing to do, and that is to wash your hands first, and then to put the glove wrap over your bowl. I'm not washing my hands, but you do it first, so it, it's not messy. Put the glove wrap, one side, the other side very tight, 
and actually very generous as well. The reason for it is that the dough will be proving at night. So it will rise in the bowl, in the fridge, and you need to make sure that it doesn't go over the bowl. So, okay, let's walk to the fridge together. Let's go. Let's go. Come, come, come. Here's the fridge. Open the fridge. Put it inside the fridge. The door is absolutely beautiful. It's up to the brim of the bowl and very elastic, very flexible. So what we will do now, I will put a little bit of flour on my hands and then I will just simply try to scoop it from the bowl, from every side and take it out. That's all what I'm doing. Very simple, very simple. And it comes off. That There is not a big problem here. If you need a little bit more flour on your hands, just do it. So take it out from this bowl, put it on your bench, and on your bench, you have some flour as well. Okay, beautiful. So what do we do now? We just spread the dough a tiny bit. If you need a bit of flour for your hand, just keep it handy. Just spread it evenly. Just fold it back. Every edge. So you see all my kernels here and you see how flexible the dough is? That's exactly how it should be. I have another bowl clear, uh, clean here. And what I will do, I will put my bread dough into this new bowl and I will leave it for another half an hour in the very warm place. Okay, put it in inside the bowl. It is just to rise for a few more minutes in about 20 minutes that would be right in the warm place. See you then. actually raised a bit, not much, but raised and changed the temperature as well. At the very same time, I put a pot inside my oven. So, what kind of pot? It's actually quite important. If you have the Dutch oven, use it. Here it is. And put it for about maybe 10 minutes inside the oven to make it warm. So that's that's part that is actually very, very important. I put a tiny bit of flour there, just a bit, so when it doesn't, so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot. And then my last thing is to move the dough from the bowl to the pot. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not, but you can do it. Come closer, sister. Come, come, come. Yes. Ah, so let's see what it is like. Basically, what I need to do is to take it out and put it inside my pot. There you go, just like that. Put it in. Looks beautiful. Straighten. Like that. I will put a few kernels on top. Oh, here they are. Just here. Because my bread was with kernels, so I want them on top as well. It's ready to go, oh, it's very hot, always careful. It's ready to go to the oven. Now, half an hour with the lid on, it's important. And after half an hour, we will take it off and we will bake it for another 20 minutes. So, hot pot, protection, put it in. Oh, heavy, 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 heavy. See you in half 
Thank you. 